So, boys and girls, I'm back in the game. Uh, if you hadn't already noticed, uh, I lost, well, my phone was stolen on Saturday, so I haven't been able to make to have many posts. I've been doing a lot from the, the laptop. I haven't just been able to randomly post up or go live. Um, I mean, just quickly, excuse me, I know I'm just fresh from the gym. Um, good workout, so excuse the, uh, the, the wet t-shirt and the uh, bastard appearance. But, um, yeah, no, um, so I had my phone stolen on Saturday, but luckily I've got one now. Unfortunately, I'm not going live at the moment because my SIM card hasn't arrived yet. It should be here today, so when that comes, I'll be able to go live, etc. Uh, again. But today, I um, wanted to shoot a quick video around something that that is becoming quite prevalent. It's something that, um, it, as you know, Jason Kristoff, um, he talks a lot about self-sabotage. And one of the questions I want to ask today is, when are you going to stop doing things that cause you pain? Now, there's a lot, there's a, it's, this is a lot of ways this video can go because a lot of people talk about people like the attention that, that pain brings them, staying in pain. I put a post up last year about you know some people don't want to get out of pain because they love the attention. And some people, well, most of the people really resonated with it and said, yeah, I know people like that. Well, I've been like that myself. Other people took huge offence to it. Um, so now, how dare you say that? A lot of people, everyone wants to get out of pain. And usually when you're triggered, it's because someone's put their finger right on your growth potential. Um, so it's interesting, you know. You say, um, offence isn't given, it's taken. And so this is one of the things. So why do we continue to do it? Well, a lot of, lot of things as well. There's lots of lots of different reasons. One is that the brain, you know, we've got our reptile, mammalian and human brain. Our reptile is all about fight, flight, fornicate and this, and this base level human needs, food. Then you've got mammalian brain, which is all about hierarchy and not being extra, uh, extradited from the herd, which is one of the reasons why. Maybe you're doing things to keep in with the herd, you know, like... Um, because being extradited from the herd, you might think you have to make new friendship groups, you might lose friends, or you might outgrow friends, it might be a reason. Other times it can just be you're doing these things because maybe you're bored in, in at work, for example. So then you, you reach something that gives you instant gratification or instant pleasure. Like, you know, a lot of people at work as well, like crabs in a bucket, people at work, they love to put out donuts and cakes and other foods because... They want to have one, and they think if they put them out for everyone else, they're sharing the guilt. Um, and there's a very, very big difference. I just talked about this with Jen uh, Robinson on our podcast recently. If you haven't listened to it, it's a great episode. Um, but lots of people do this. They like to share their guilt, and they feel like, oh, if everyone else is having it, then I don't feel as bad. Um, or like crabs in the bucket, someone else tries to rise above someone. They love to pull that. If, if you don't know about that crabs in the bucket, if a crab tries to escape when it's been caught, the rest of the crabs pull them down because they don't want that crab to get out. And that can happen quite a lot. And if you try to change, a lot of people can actually become quite scared because they feel like, one, you, you might leave them behind, or two, you might be getting ahead of them. Um, and they don't want you to change. You know, lots of people are in love or are angry at people that, that aren't actually them anymore. It's in that person's changed and then they want to keep them the same as they used to be, but that person's gone. And um, yeah, one of the things that Jen said as well when we're talking about it is, you know, if you say to someone, oh, do you want to have, do you want to have a cigarette? And someone says, oh, no, I'm trying to quit. People go, oh, go on, have one. Or, okay, well, you know, you're going to break, you know. They're still identifying as someone who smokes. Whereas if you say to someone, oh, do you want a cigarette? And they say, no, sorry, I don't smoke. Nothing gets said anymore. That's just the way it is. Idea doesn't smoke, doesn't get offered again. Again, it's the same with drink. Do you want to drink? No, I don't drink anymore. Compared to no, I just don't drink, or whatever it is. I'm trying to. Or oh, do you want a cake? I'm trying to. I'm trying to lose some weight. I'm trying to cut back rather than no, I just don't eat that. And it's one of the things I know. One of the things people around me they just don't offer me certain things because they know I'm not going to have it. You know, as I said, said before, there's certain things I have every now and again, but there's certain things I'll never have. And um, it's just the way you are, who you, who you identify with. And I'll say it again, I, a lot of times you say the same message in different ways because you want to try to get to resonate with someone. But it's really, really important. You know, I say to people all the time, you don't do healthy things and become a healthy person. Mentally, you become a healthy person and then healthy things come naturally. Lifestyle, doing all the things that people think, oh, no, I've got to cook my own food or I've got to take lemon water in the morning or probiotics, or I've got to spend money on this or that. It just becomes natural. You know, you just go to the gym every day. You just have cold showers every day. You just buy organic food all the time. You know, you have a lot of water every day. Um, you're making sure you're getting to the infrared sauna and sweating. You're getting the right vitamin D and, and vitamin C. And you have, you're not having caffeine, uh, for example. 
you're spending time with friends, spending time in nature, you're doing sport, you're having hobbies, and you're working on something that you love. That's another reason a lot of people do something that they don't like because they're, they're in a job that they don't feel any purpose with, any passion with. And so to get that instant gratification, to get that instant little bit of joy, they go and have maybe a cake or a chocolate bar or a fizzy drink just to get that, that rush, you know, that dopamine release. So lots of things going on there. So the question to you is, you know, we have to be conscious about our subconscious. So start becoming subconscious about what you're subconsciously doing. Why are you doing that? When you're sitting on the toilet looking at inst Instagram, why are you doing that for? I've caught myself doing it before, you know, or why are you why why are you watching this TV program when you could be learning something? Sometimes you need time to chill. I get that, but why are you mindlessly having a sandwich where you could just go and cook some food? It take you thirty minutes. Or this one is delivery. People go and get a uh, delivery takeout. They think it's fast food. Well, it actually takes about half an hour for the food to come. Maybe half an hour to an hour. In that time, you can cook a fantastic organic meal. You know, and it takes I don't know half an hour to cook some chicken and some potatoes and less than that to cook cool jets for example just a, just a meal off the top of my head or even put anything in a, in a pan have a, have a stir fry it takes little to no time at all so you know start becoming conscious about your subconscious actions and start to ask yourself start to ask yourself these questions when are you going to stop doing things that are causing you pain okay because when you stop doing them and you start to move towards things that give you joy things start to change massively so conscious about the subconscious and when are you going to start doing things that cause you pain when you're going to stop sorry so conscious about the subconscious and when you're going to stop doing things that cause you pain that's my question for today guys and girls when you stop doing that stop doing those things and start doing things that push you towards joy and things your purpose and where you want to be and having goals and dreams always say you know when you haven't got any dreams, it's easy to stay, get stuck in your nightmare. But when you've got dreams, you don't need a nightmare anymore. And if you haven't got dreams or a goal or a purpose, think about your nightmare situation. And say, well, if you're not like, oh, I want to go here, I want to do this. Think about where you don't want to be and start thinking about all the actions you've got to take to stay away from that. Okay? It's a game changer. Anyway, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.